Hey, everyone, welcome back to For Wheels Empire. Today, we're tackling a common trouble code, PO402. If you've got this code on your scanner, your vehicle's EG or exhaust gas recirculation system is detecting excessive flow. Let's walk through how to diagnose and fix it. The presence of code PO402 on a diagnostic scan of your vehicle indicates to a technician that there is something wrong with the exhaust gas recirculation EGR system. The EGR system helps your engine to run efficiently, consume less fuel, and emit fewer emissions. Faulty EGR valve, clogged EGR passage, disconnected or damaged vacuum lines, faulty EGR related sensor. Issues with the EGR control circuit, such as damaged wires or port connections. Illuminated check engine light, engine hesitation, difficulty in starting the engine, rough idling, reduced power or per acceleration, engine knocking or detonation, reduced fuel economy, an issue with the PCM, such as software in need of an update. Looking at the engine from the front, the EGR valve is located towards the rear of the engine, just to the right side of the center. First carefully remove the EGR valve from your car. Turn the EGR valve upside down and fill it up with a WD-40 cleaner. Let it soak for 5 hours for the solvent to get rid of all the carbon buildups. After the cleaned EGR valve gets dry, reinstall it back in the car. If it is too dirty to be cleaned, you may replace it with a new EGR valve. The intake manifold sits on top of the engine and plays a key role in the combustion process. First, carefully remove the intake manifold from the engine. Use the WD-40 cleaner to clean up the crud inside the intake manifold and wipe it well to make sure all the carbon buildup is now removed. Reinstall the intake manifold back. After the cleaned intake manifold is dried, once everything is cleaned and reinstalled, plug in your OBD to scanner again, and clear. The PO40 decode, now it's time for a test drive. Drive your car for a few miles to see if the check engine light comes back on. Thanks for watching, everyone, I hope this guide helped you understand and fix the PO402. Code on your car, be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment if you have any questions. And remember, tackling these kinds of repairs not only saves you money but also helps keep your car running smoothly. See you in the next video.